Newton's law of viscosity. Newton's law of viscosity states that uh, the shear stress acting on the fluid element is directly proportional to velocity gradient or rate of shear strain. Now, viscosity is one of the important fluid property in fluid mechanics. The definition of viscosity is it is the resistance offered by the one fluid layer to the adjacent fluid layer. Let us consider a number of uh, fluid layers between two parallel plates like this. Let the bottom plate be a fixed plate means the velocity is zero here and the top layer is uh, moving with certain velocity. Now these two plates are separated by a distance of y and the space between the two plates are filled with a fluid. Now the distribution of velocity of the fluid is uh, let us consider like this a number of fluid layers are moving in a horizontal plane uh, which are uh, parallel to each other it is very obvious that the velocity of these uh, different layers are, are varies with respect to distance y or it is a function of velocity is a function of distance now let us consider two individual fluid layers which are uh, separated by a distance of uh, dy I am taking these two different uh, layers in our analysis. Now let us consider two different layers which are separated by very small distance uh, dy. The velocity of the bottom layer of the fluid element b small u and the velocity of the top layer must be u plus uh, du. At the angle made by the fluid element with the vertical axis is d theta ok now this is the excess distance covered so you can write this excess distance as velocity into time means with the in terms of distance you can write like this so from this triangle you can write tan d theta is equals to opposite side du dt divided by adjacent side is dy as uh, this uh, d theta is very small you can write d theta is equals to du uh, dt by dy so d theta by dt is equals to du by dy from newton's law of viscosity shear stress is and directly proportional to angular deformation or rate of a shear strain d theta by dt is directly proportional to du by dy if you remove this proportionality limit now you can write how is equals to mu into du by dy so this is newton's law of viscosity where mu is equals to dynamic viscosity dynamic viscosity whose units are so tau into dy by du the units of shear stress is newton per meter square dy by du is second ok now you can write this as newton meter square newton per meter square second means pascal second Pascal seconds and the dimensional units are dimensional units m l inverse t inverse.